Hey everybody, this is part one of our Sunflower and Dragonfly free live demo class. Um, oh, we need to turn the camera this way so you can see that right. So if you haven't already, go grab this tracer. It's uh, on my page here. Just I think I have it pinned to the top. Just save it to your device and print it out. And okay, I'm going to turn the camera down and show you what I'm doing here. I am going to be using a 10 by 10 cradled panel and I have already um, put my little sticker on there and signed it and all that good stuff. And I like to just, I just kind of lightly sand it. Um, so I've got a block here just to kind of, it kind of removes any funkiness, <laughs> if you will. the surface doesn't need much I do see sometimes I get these from Amazon and so sometimes there's a little weird like line going across and sometimes there's little threads sticking up or I don't know I just like to lightly hit it um, I think I'm going to leave it like a really pale wood. Just looking at it to see if there's any other things I don't like on there. Sometimes I'll even just kind of hit the bottom edge, bottom corner, just to make sure there's not weird fibers that are going to stick up. And sometimes the corners look a little bit like they just need a very, very light sanding. And then, um, so decide if you're going to paint the edges or not. Now, you don't have to use wood for this. I'm going to wipe this down real quick with um, just a little cloth. Um, so decide if you want to paint your edges white or stain them or just varnish them, you know, whatever you like. I think what the look that I want to have on this is, um, oh, I'm going to put the, let me, let me put the hanger in the back too. Oh, I need a ruler. Here it is. So I'm using a sawtooth hanger. I just like to have all of this done so that um, when I add my glass and resin, it's hard to do this if you've got glass and resin on the front. <laughs> so I just do this up front. And I have one drill with my bit in it. And one drill with the um, Phillips head. And these are the longest screws that you can get so that they will really support it. Well, they're not the longest, but they're the longest sawtooth hanger screws. And I just, I found them on Amazon. And I'm going to show you what I'm kind of feeling inspired by today. Okay, let me put these back on the other table. <laughs> Knocked over a painting. So, okay. Um... I do need to do something to the sides. I like to do my sides and then put blue tape on them so that um, I've got the whole front, you know, free to do what I want with. I need to adjust this a little bit, don't I? 
so um, it is technically still warm enough outside. Maybe I could take you outside and use my spray varnish. So I'm going to turn it upside down and spray those edges. Yeah, let's do that real quick. Okay. Um, let me find my varnish for so sorry. All of this is really on the fly, on the, on the fly you know. Clear hammer. Okay, this is a mess. All right, hold on. I need to find. Oh, here it is. So I'm just going to use this. It's a satin, but that's okay. I'm just going to use this, and I'm going to take you out of the mount and show you how I, how I, um, just basically. Um, spray the sides, but I need to put something on my table outside. Uh, I know what I could do. I could use an old styrofoam plate. Okay. Take all this outside. Turn your back right side up. Oh, you know what? Well, yeah, it's hard to do all of this with, with uh, one hand, so pardon me taking you outside with me. Hold on. <laughs> oh, Charlie's going to run out with me. I'm going to go back and close my screen door. So let me turn the camera around and show you what I'm doing. Yay, Jean. Hey, Lisa. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. So I'm just going to put this down like this. Put this upside down on here, bring it over to the edge of my table, and I'm literally just gonna spray that. But let me close my door. And look, I have all kinds of cute mushrooms growing. I don't know why. Turn it. Turn it. And I don't care if I get this on the table. It's got all kinds of stuff like that on it anyway. And so now those sides are sealed, you know, for the customer, <clears throat> just in case they, I don't know, kid could touch it after they've had some chocolate cake and that would be it, right? So at least it's going to have that on there. So I'm going to leave that out there a few minutes and Charlie doesn't know what to do. <laughs> okay, come on, Charlie. Oh, it does smell that stuff. Whew. All right. And then meanwhile, we can get some of our supplies together. So I put all my spray paints here next to my door, um, you know, so that I could just grab them. All right, put you back in the mount. This is all very impromptu. I hope you don't mind. Oh, I just on a whim decided to do a free class today. So we're going to be painting this sunflower. And I think what I want to do, I think I want it to be, uh, oh, let me show you what I'm inspired by. Let me turn the camera upside down. wrong kind of flip okay so these are some sunflowers i did um a while ago and they actually need to be i realize that they're dusty they're not really sparkling um they're much prettier when they're clean and i think the way that you can clean them is with uh, like a can of air can of air you know look how much prettier it looks already when i dust some of that off. Of course, you want to be very careful because there are sharp edges on this. These were up in my living room. But if I go get my can of air, let me grab a can of air. I think I have a can of air. And 
it does sometimes put some moisture down, but then just wipe it. Just be careful you don't cut yourself. That's how I clean them. That looks a lot better. Well, compared to that one, how much better it looks. So let's do this one real quick. Um, so I think I want to have not all the petals with glass, but some of them. And I think I want to do the center like this with this clearish, greenish glass. But we are going to paint it. Don't worry. You don't have to do this whole part if you don't want to. If you just want to do a painted sunflower and dragonfly, that's totally fine. But if you want to kind of check out how how this all comes together with glass and resin, this would be a great opportunity for you to see that. All right, so that's the inspiration, right? And um, I like the wood background, but I do like the scroll work. So I want to have that as a hint in the background. So hopefully I'll, if I don't have the right um, paint pen to do it with, like I wonder if this beige, like tone on tone is what I want it to be. Like maybe a, a beige or maybe I'll have to use, uh, mix a color and use a brush or maybe use a metallic gold paint pen. I don't know yet. So really, um, we're just gonna paint the sunflower on, um, and then maybe the inner petals will be the glass, you know? I don't know yet. Maybe every other petal or so will be glass. Don't know yet, but we're gonna paint the whole thing. All right, so um, I'm gonna set these aside and get my paints out on a palette. And I'm just letting my um, substrate dry out there for a few minutes in the fresh air. All right, so um, obviously we're going to need yellow. Uh, now you don't have to use, um, I do recommend professional grade paints, um, but use what you have. Uh, you're going to get much better results if you use um, at least... Um, you know, not craft paint. I mean, but if that's what you have, that's fine. So I've got Hansa yellow opaque, or you could use, um, you could use, um, you know, whatever vivid yellow that you have, like, um, let me, let me grab my other paints. Hold on. So, I mean, here's a chart of other paints that, that we typically use in the painter's journey. You could certainly use something like a cadmium yellow light. Now that's kind of a cool yellow. So you want, you do want some of that on a sunflower, but really you want this medium yellow. And believe it or not, it's the same pigment, PY35, but somehow with, with, a, with whatever brand it is, the yellow medium is a richer like school bus yellow compared to the yellow light so you need both um or let's see you can add yellow or you can add like a pyrrole red light and mix your own deep yellow or medium yellow so i've got pyrrole red light that i'm going to put over here um if you don't have pyrrole red light you can use cadmium red um, light or medium or you could even use um, magenta it'll be slightly different but it's still very very pretty um, let's see what cool colors are we going to want I think we're going to want maybe just a bit of like a brownish tone so um, I like burnt umber light or burnt umber is fine um, 
The other thing you could use if you don't have that is you could use a uh, violet because if you mix violet with yellow or orange, you'll get a nice neutral brownish color. So I'm gonna put some violet out just for the heck of it. And um, let's see, uh, probably some white. And I don't know, I really, I really like these outlines so much that I'm actually, I'm kind of thinking of painting those in with a dark color. I don't know. You know what we'll do? We'll practice it. Let's see what it looks like on a practice sheet. Give, give, our, um, give our substrate a few more minutes to dry. So sometimes this is what I'll do, and I share this in my membership all the time. Sometimes we'll just do a practice run. Like here's, here was some practice colors of the whale that we just did. Here's some practice. Oh, uh oh, I got to plug in. <clears throat> Uh, let me plug <laughs> plug you guys in. <laughs> Did we stop broadcasting because of that? I'm so sorry. Let me turn. I forgot to turn my iPad on. I got so excited about just getting started that. I didn't even go look for you guys on my iPad, so let me do that real quick. And that way I'll be able to see your comments. <laughs> oh, I just get into, I just, I get into what I'm doing so much that uh, I can be a little bit, uh, I forget to do certain things. And plugging in my phone and running out of battery, that's, <laughs> that happens more often than I'd like to admit, but... So I'm going to plug in my iPad too. Okay, let's see if I can find, I'm going to go to Artist Hearth Studio. So if you've got friends that you think would enjoy this, please let them know. Please share with them. I wish I could get this up higher. I guess I can't. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to get to my Artist Heart Studio page. All right, here I am. All right, here I am. Yay, I found myself. And I'm going to swipe left and see if there's comments. Okay. <laughs> Lynn is here. Sandy, Latrice, uh, Shelly. Hello, hello, everybody. Um, 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 Joyce, <laughs> Lisa. Yeah, I guess I can be a hoot. So, okay, did I get cut off before? Hi, Mary. Were you not able to hear me for a few minutes? I'm so sorry about that. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Can you hear me now? Um, like, this is the deer that we just did. And I know it looks funky, but this was, this was me teaching the technique and talking about color. Okay, so for the sunflower, let's just find a blank page. And... I mean, it's kind of different to do a sunflower with black outlines. Mm, it would be more, I guess, of an illustration if we do it that way. And I'm just not sure I want to do that yet. So, okay, so for the heck of it, let's, let's just try. Let's just see what happens if I do, you know, kind of do that. And of course, what, what makes this is the thick and thin of the lines, you know, <clears throat> which I drew this in Procreate, but it doesn't matter. Okay, and then there's bigger petals like this. Right? Okay, so it's something like that, right? Something like that. Let's just see if we paint that in yellow. Let me get a big brush. 
I've got dirty water here, but that's okay. So this is just like a quick study, if you will, to decide. What do you think? Do you think it would look good with black outlines? It would be different, right? I just want to do this super quick. So the center is going to be that kind of turquoisey green. Oh, I didn't put any blue out, did I? Okay, so let's get a little bit of some phthalo blue, phthalo green blue shade, sorry. This stuff's pretty strong. You don't need too much. And I just want... And it needs some blue. Because it's too green. So that was a little bit of phthalo. Um, oops. And this is very powerful too. Phthalo blue green shade. And of course it's going to look funky on paper. And that's okay. Charlie, stop barking at everything that walks by. <laughs> He's a great guard dog, what can I say? All right, so now the test is going to be, let's see what how it looks if we come in here and paint um, black lines. I don't know, it might, it might be okay. Hey, Carlotta. Um, Jean says I always like black, but <laughs> wait, did you did you say more? I always like black, but okay, <laughs> might be too much, right? Well, we'll see. I don't want to put it on this plate. I'm going to put it on a separate plate. You must see. Oh, you know what? There's a bunch of Canadian geese across the way in my neighbor's yard and that's what he's barking at you know how dogs are they see movements and they're all crazy okay so then I'm going to use a script liner brush like this one this is a royal soft grip um, I think it's a number two and I do like using a really fluid paint for black lines and I'm going to look at this tracer while I do this to see the kind of the thick and thin. Oh, it's too wet. It's too wet right now. <laughs> it's gonna bleed. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna probably look a little too illustrated, isn't it? I don't know, it's very bold. I actually think it would look pretty cool. Um, let me do, so like if we, especially if we put like a more orangey shade in here. I know it's hard to, it's probably kind of a little hard to visualize that right now. Um, I don't know, I think, it would, I think it would look pretty cool. It'd be different, you know, we want it to look different. There's so many sunflowers out there, right? My boys are going to, I know, right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's 
Sorry, I'm making your boys bark. Um, I don't know. I, I think I think so. I think I do want to do that. It'll be very different, right? Um, okay, so let me grab my substrate. Be right back. It's nice and dry on the edges and I can tape them. So I'm gonna grab my blue tape over here. <clears throat> and we do this because um, we don't want the resin to come around the sides. So all I do for this is um, kind of hold it on its side. And this just takes a little bit of patience to get it right on the edge there. And I've noticed that it's a little harder for my eyeballs to see things this close up. <laughs> uh, I think that looks pretty good. And I, I intentionally let it pull away on this side because I'm gonna tape that side next. Fold the sides down first and then fold this down. And I, I like using this extra wide tape so that it covers the back also because when resin drips, it will, it'll come around the bottom and that's not fun. Okay, so there's that side. And when I first started doing like resin, I hated taping. I hated it, didn't wanna do it, and I didn't tape my stuff. And I wound up spending more time cleaning up the drips, so I realized this is better. Wow, I, I'm getting to where I'm gonna need to have my close-up glasses down here. <laughs> of course, you wanna make sure this is really secure. And even if you aren't doing resin, I still think it's a good idea to tape the sides because you don't want uh, your paint to come around the side either. Right? Hey, Teresa. Hey, Christina. Jean, are you saying you don't want to do black? Totally fine. And, you know, by all means, if you want to do this a different color, um, have at it, you know. Do what makes you happy. So I think what I'm going to wind up doing on this video is um, I'm going to just trace this on here with you guys and then I'll end this video and come back on. I'll let, you, I'll let you do this part, you know. You may not be doing it with me live right now. Um, of course, these, these this will stay up as a replay for you to watch anytime you'd like. Um, but if you want to be doing this actually with me, um, there will be time for, for you to do that when I end this video, you know. Um, and then I'll come back on, um, I don't know, in another hour or so and start painting. So in this video, we are talking about prepping your substrate. Uh, like you saw me, I just did the sides, put my hanger on the back, um, kind of planned out what I'm gonna do. You need to always have a plan. And um, I'm taping the sides now, and this will be all good to go. And some days, you know, this is all I do. Maybe, maybe I just prep stuff like this. I just do the prep. But I like breaking it up into little chunks like this because then it actually helps me um, post it in the group and and you know literally this is exactly how I do it in my membership I literally do one video like this take pictures at the end I put all the pictures in a PDF workbook and I post the video in the group and I put it under a guide 
So all of the lessons, all of these videos will be in my membership group under a guide called Sunflower and Dragonfly so that they can find them later. And then the other thing I do is um, I upload that video to YouTube. So I actually like having a break in between because then I can literally go um, put it on YouTube as well and I share a private link and that way the members can have forever access to the class. If, if they're no longer a member in my membership, um, they'll still, if they, if they grab the video links, they'll have forever access on the YouTube, my YouTube channel. Okay, so this is all prepped. My sides are prepped. Now I'm ready to trace this on here. And yes, this is on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, but we can certainly pull this down a little bit and make it fit on a 10 by 10. I think I'm gonna put it right about, in, right about here. Um, if you don't like it this way, you could flop it the other way if you'd rather have the sunflower on that side, you know? You could, you could do that too. So, of course, you'd have to, you'd probably need to trace the design on a window to get it on the back side. But anyway, I think I'm gonna put it right about here. And I'm gonna tape it down. Let me grab a different piece of tape. Can you please send me the link of the sunflower? There is no link, Carol. Um, I posted this right here on the page. This tracer is posted right here on the page. Direct access, you can download it right now. No uh, no goofing around, no hemming and hawing. You can just go grab it right now. Isn't that nice? Okay, so that's securely taped. And then I'm gonna grab my um, graphite paper. Oh, and you know, when you put your paint out like this, it's a good idea to um, cover it. So I'm just going to put, and this is one reason why I like styrofoam plates. So I just have that covered and then I'm going to put a jar of paint over the top of it to hold it down securely and kind of seal it in there and it'll keep it moist for a little while longer. Okay, and then I'm going to put my graphite paper here. And for this, I like to use, this is Richeson graphite paper. And I get it on Dick Blick. It's my favorite. I don't waste my time with anything else. All the others, frankly, aren't very good. Hey, Lori. I need to do a cleaner logo and get stickers. Yeah, you like, I know, I love. Shelly does my stickers for me. She does a fabulous job. Okay, so I'm going to start with this. And basically what I'm going to do, oh, by the way, this is a, it's a nail dotter is what I call it, but I get these at Sally's. You can also get them on Amazon. Um, I think they might also call it a stylus, right? <laughs> um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna basically do a confident line in the middle of these strokes. And I'm pressing down hard just to get the gesture of the stroke, if you will. And, and there are curves, some of them are long lines, some are short. Um, lines have a language, they describe. So um, I enjoy, and then double check that it's actually transferring, which it is, okay. And then I'm going to start, let's start with this one. And again, I'm just going to put it in the middle. Well, you know what? Maybe I will trace the entire stroke, if you will. So this is going to take a little time. and it's probably quite boring. You could also use a red ballpoint pen and that'll help you remember where you started. 
because that can be a little bit difficult. And then every once in a while you can go double check. And it doesn't have to be black lines too. Jean, maybe you were saying that you didn't really like the black, but you could certainly use, um, maybe you want to use orange, you know, or just a darker or yellow mixed with brown or whatever. Which petal is this? That one. So I need to do, did I do this one? See, I already am not remembering which one I did. No, okay, this one. <laughs> So um, if you're new here, um, hello, welcome. I'm doing this for you, uh, and I'm so excited that you are here. I really, really am. And, um, you know, I, I just want to help. I just want to help artists gain confidence, have fun. If you're having fun, you're going you're gonna to do this. If you're not having fun, you're not going to do it. <laughs> Right? I mean, it's simple. And sunflowers are fun, you know? Everybody, I don't think I've met anybody that doesn't like sunflowers. My neighbor down the street has sunflowers in their front yard. And um, they are just now starting to kind of bend over and hang. And um, I was thinking about it. That must be nature's way of dropping the seeds on the ground. I mean, they probably just get so full, all those seeds have grown so much inside the, the head that they just kind of put their heads down. <laughs> like the sunflowers are all sad. I love the black, I would always go for that. Oh, okay, you love the black. Oh, thank you, Carol, for sprinkling. Um, thank you, thank you, that's so nice of you. Okay, so I missed this one. It really is a lot easier if you just use a red ballpoint pen, for sure. <laughs> um, okay, I didn't do this petal. Or this petal. And even if I do draw a line a second time, it's not the end of the world, is it? I don't think so. Oh, didn't do this one either. Okay, yeah, I like that. I'm glad, I'm glad I, I'm drawing both sides of the lines. Okay, let me get a, a red pen. It's driving me crazy that I don't know where I left off. Um, oh, I have one right here. It's a gel pen, but all right, I think I started with this one. That was dumb. I shouldn't have put that right in the middle of a petal. Actually, that works really nice, this whatever this is. I think it's a gel pen tip. Okay, and what I like to do is turn my canvas. I love working this way with something flat on a table. It's just more comfortable for me. And I'm standing right now. I'm trying to stand more. My husband, um, he is wonderful. He's always kind of looking out for me and my health. I had a health scare five years ago and I'm grateful to be here because I could have had a heart attack. I was headed for one. Um, it just, it's a heredity issue in my family. And um, so I need to get my 10,000 steps in. <laughs> and I counted steps walking my dog, Charlie. And I'm barely getting 5,000 steps in a day. So it's like, ugh. I'm just trying to be better about all that stuff. I'm trying to be better about drinking water and, you know, all the things. 
Um, I got really healthy and lost a lot of weight after that scare, but I've kind of slowly put some weight back on. Uh, next week I go see my cardiologist. <laughs> and, you know, it's just that it's, you know, they have you do that. Once you, once you had some sort of health issue, that's it. You're theirs for life. You have to keep going back and back and, you know, everything's been fine. Um, thank goodness. Oh, I think I'm repeating. Oh, no, I'm not. But I do need to keep a watch, you know. So, um, oh, the reason why I brought that up is because I mentioned I'm standing. And standing is a lot better than sitting, <laughs> right? So I'm trying to stand more. So I actually took two Amazon tables and set them side by side here in the middle of my this one end of my studio. And I'm, I've been using this as a way to film, um, you know, the classes, and I think it's working pretty good. And at least I'm standing a little bit more. Okay, missed this one. This is much easier on Procreate, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> right, Shelly? Shelly and I also have a Procreate group. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, oh, I see a couple more things I missed right here. What else did I miss? That's everything, actually. So I can continue. I'm going to continue those. I'm just going to use my pencil. I need a better point on my pencil. I have an electric sharpener, but I don't know if it's plugged in. Let me go check. So let's see. I logged more steps when I was downtown with a bad hip than I do now. Oh, well, yeah, downtown, you're just, that's one good thing about working downtown, right? Oh, I used to walk a lot more when I worked downtown. Um, yes, and everybody really walks with purpose, especially in downtown Chicago. I mean, they really, really do. Okay, so now I'm just going to figure out, you know, approximately where these would go. And it's totally okay if it's off a little bit or whatever. Just, just improvise those in there, right? So it'd probably come around to like here, maybe. So do the short ones first. Nice thing about that is you can kind of make it your own, right? Nobody's will be exactly the same. Okay, and then maybe there would be another back here. Okay. All right, this looks like it needs something right here. 
just fill in wherever you feel like it needs something. You know, and I like the idea of you having to make some decisions because it that's what builds your confidence. You know, is when you, oh gosh, that didn't work. Is when you have to try um, doing part of it yourself without, you know, me guiding you every single step of the way. So for that, let me see if I have a better eraser. So this is a dick flick, like a gum eraser. Some erasers do better than that. Here's a white pearl. Oh, gosh. I wish I had never done that. What I could do is kind of sand that a little bit, I think, but I'll, I'll come back to that. I'm probably going to sand that a little bit. So I want to come back and do um, this. Do you call that filigree? What do you call this? Oh, yeah, Carol says sand it off. Yes. It's walk or get out of the way, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Um, yeah, I went to school downtown Chicago, and I still remember, like, one of the very first days down there. This is a slightly off-color story. But don't worry, it's not embarrassing or anything. Um, and I, I mean, I, I'm not naive. I mean, I grew up in Chicago, but there was, there were homeless people. And I don't think I had any experience with homeless people. And there was a woman standing there. There was a Wendy's. And I remember being so excited about this Wendy's restaurant. And we could, we could go get, because it was, my school was on State Street. And we could go get Wendy's at, at break time. And I loved Wendy's. So, um this woman was standing there and you know almost every day asking for money and she literally had and here's the off color part snot hanging out of her nose and she had like no semblance of awareness of it and i remembered just looking at it I mean, it wouldn't go away. I couldn't stop looking at that, you know? How terrible am I? <laughs> I was so distracted by that, and I just thought, how could she stand there with, and not even wipe her nose off, you know? I don't know. For some reason, that's a very graphic memory that I have. Weird, right? I was just flabbergasted, you know? I don't know. I'm weird. Anyway. I should have thought beyond that, of course, but that's that was my stupidity. So anyway, um, okay, then there's this swirl here, and you know it's it's like that's just how it is. There's all kinds of people, and nobody's shocked by anything when you're downtown. <laughs> Everybody just keeps moving along, like nothing's going on here. Let's just keep going. And I was standing there probably with my mouth hanging open like, but, but she's got that. Somebody give this woman a tissue. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes, very eye-opening, exactly. <sighs> yeah, I mean, and I remember being on the train, being on um, buses and things like that with the um, bus driver announcing that there are known thieves on this bus, so watch your handbag, what, you know. And I remember thinking, well, how does he know, you know, and, and why don't they get those people off of here if that's the case? Hi, Claire. 
what, what was that all about, you know? And uh, one time when I was, because I would, so I would take the train to um, this one station and then take a bus, you know, to, when I went to school downtown. And apparently I fell asleep on the train. I had my portfolio, I think I had my wallet in my portfolio. And I was literally leaning over my portfolio with my nose almost touching the top of my portfolio. I was falling asleep. Somebody reached into my portfolio and took my wallet. Somebody stole my wallet. And I just couldn't believe it. Cause, cause I, I knew they couldn't have stolen it at any other time because I had it tucked under my arm. And um, years later, you're not, I know you're not gonna believe this, but I swear, I was having lunch at, do you know Bergdorf, that, that German restaurant that was on State Street? I don't know if it's even still there. And we found my wallet in the, it tucked in the, um, underneath the bench seat that we were sitting at. My friend pulled it out pulled this wallet out. I'm like, wait a minute, let me see that. It was my wallet. Of course it was empty and everything. What are the odds of that? <laughs> I swear it's true. Very, very strange. So probably whoever took it that day went right there and pulled all the money out and that was it. I don't think I had much money though. I was a student. Okay, I'm going to turn it upside down and do the rest. Um, I think I got everything. Let's see, where did I leave off? I should go back to my red pen because now I'm getting confused. Okay, so then this line kind of bleeds off. Okay. This line does this. I hope my head isn't blocking. Okay. Like that. Then I need this. And like I say, this is probably going to be a somewhat subtle type of design. doesn't show okay and then could probably just improvise the rest of that so let me show you how I would do that yeah they were fabulous downtown Chicago was culture shock for a young woman from Idaho well it was culture shock even for me <laughs> yeah I think they did they redo the field museum Wilson do you know what, they've, they've redone a couple of things. I haven't been there in forever. And it's expensive now. Oh my gosh. It's crazy expensive now to do anything. Okay. So, put this aside. Yeah, let's sand that off. That's bugging me. 
um, where's my other sandpaper? It's kind of working. It's, I think that's probably good enough. It's pushing around the other stuff, but once I paint that, that should be fine. So let me make that dark again. Okay. And then let's see. I don't know that I have a repeat in this pattern, do I? Um, see if I can figure out. I don't know. Maybe just do another one of these here. Make this into a leaf. I If you don't know, just put a leaf in there, right? Maybe right here would be a flower coming in at the corner. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Okay, so then the best thing to do is just kind of come in with a vine and a leaf. Vine and a leaf. It's just like a, a curly cue, a leaf. Continue the curly cue. Maybe this could go this way. Curly cue. A lot of curly cues. Another curly cue. Another leaf, curly Q and a leaf. I think this will be another flower. I'm just making it up as I'm going along. OK, 
Okay, that kind of worked. If I can do it on the other side now, I don't know that I can. <laughs> How did I do that? Okay, that came like this. Around. Maybe if I do it this way. Oh, it's kind of different, but that's okay. Good enough, I say. Oh, I see. This came around this way. Okay, that'll work, right? Okay. Well, this looks a little bit empty right here. So I'll just do that. So that's all just gonna be like marker in the background. And um, we are gonna have a dragonfly right in the middle, but there, we don't need to put that on there yet. Um, so that's it. That's basically everything I would do on this step. Um, and I'm gonna sign off for now. I'm gonna have you prep your panel and um, trace your design on. You might want to, you know, put the hanger on the back, put the tape on the sides and everything so that you're ready for the next step. And I will see you in, um, I don't know, I'll give you about an hour to do all that and I'll be back on then. All right. Any questions on this so far? Turn this right side up. Oh, I'm all red from bending over. Any questions on this so far? What do you think? Ooh, pretty, pretty. Well, if you do have any questions, just post them below. I am happy to answer. And what time is it? Uh, it's 12.35, so let's say you know what let's say 115 i'll see you back here at 115 if you can make it bye guys thank you for watching and by all means if you know anybody who th you think would be interested let them know okay see you later bye